Shortly after completing its new trolley line to Excelsior in the fall of 1905, the Twin City Rapid Transit Company decided to establish a fleet of safe, well-built express boats and operate a public transportation service on a set schedule connecting several Lake Minnetonka communities to a new dock station at Excelsior. Six steamboats designed by R.C. Moore of Wyzetta were built at the Transit Company's South Minneapolis shops over the winter of 1905-1906. They were brought out to the lake and launched on May 7, 1906. The boats were given names based on suburbs and resorts served by the company. Como, Minnehaha, White Bear, Hopkins, Harriet, and Stillwater. Each boat was 70 feet long with a 14-foot, 10-inch beam and capacity for 120 passengers plus the three-person crew. The boats were designed to look like the company's streetcars, being painted canary yellow and having the same type of seating. The boats maintained a cruising speed of 12 miles per hour. The boats ran from May 15th to September 15th. It cost 10 cents between any two points, 20 cents for a round trip, and 50 cents for a complete circuit of the lake. Each boat was assigned a run number with destinations displayed on the boat, as well as on signs at the dock station. To better serve the upper lake, a large dock and loop track was built at Wildhurst in Tonka Bay in 1908. The right-of-way to this loop is still visible along County Road 19 across from the Tonka Bay City Hall. From Wildhurst, boat run number four made a regular trip to Spring Park and Woolnows on Island Park. Boat run number five made the trip to Mound via Zumbra Heights and Crane Island. A special run number six was established later in 1908 to make one or two direct trips between Wildhurst and Mound during the morning rush hour. The travel time for this trip was 43 minutes. The run to Mound was short-lived due to competition from the Great Northern Railroad, which provided convenient service from Mound to the cities. The service to Mound was cut back in 1909, then dropped completely in 1912. Service continued to Island Park with the addition of a stop at Pembroke in 1914. With the increase in automobile ownership and the improvement in roads, boat patronage dropped dramatically in the early 1920s. Service was discontinued in 1926, and all but one of the six steamboats was scuttled by April 1928. The lone survivor, Hopkins, was sold and used as a private excursion boat until 1949. 